Okay, so to finish the uh, flower bed off, I'm going to put some uh, chipped bark around all the uh, shrubs to uh, try and stop any um, weeds coming through. Um, so I'll be uh, covering that with chipped bark, uh, covering these two with chipped bark and put some chip back over there and covering all the back of there with chips back so the new plants I've just put in once they're established uh, I can basically just leave that bed there and they'll just keep coming back year after year which is uh, what we want, maintenance free but looking good and I think I might just put some chip bark over the bottom of the roses as well because uh, I've got three bags of it to pick up tomorrow uh, and it's cost me nothing, I've got it off my uh, missus's sister so yeah may as well make use of it so I'll get that tomorrow and then and I'll crack on with that. Right, so the chip bark is this uh, red stuff. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, space it out evenly around all the shrubs. And that should cause, uh, should make a barrier to stop any weeds coming through. So I'll uh, stick the on the um, tripod and crack on with that. So as you can see, it's uh, covering quite well. Got about a quarter of a bag left. Probably just enough to rinse us off. And I've got two more bags to go up there.
Right, so I'll just take her off the pod and uh, show you what it looks like. So there you go. How much brighter does it look? Uh, <coughs> just got to tidy up these bits where it's uh, not gone in the bed. Well, uh, no one's perfect, but it does look hell of a lot brighter. Uh, so that should uh, be a good barrier uh, for the weeds, stop the weeds coming through. So I just need to uh, carry on up there and uh, that should be that done. So the, uh, the rustic red, I uh, put it round, put it round the um, roses, uh, put it round the bottom of the flamingo tree, and I've also put it round these flowers here. So the bottom half of the garden is uh, finished. So I just need to get up there and get the rest of it put up. Alright, so with regards to the easy pod, um, started that now. Uh, that won't be here till Thursday. But uh, I'm in work from Thursday to Sunday night. So I will be doing uh, removing the, taking the IBC out and replacing it with uh, an easy, easy pod uh, so that'll be connected straight up to the bottom zone we'll be using the, uh, we're going to be using my um, moving bed and the uh, still filter that'll still be getting used uh, so uh, actually, uh, Monday will be uh, the start of the uh, install of the EasyPod. So, uh, yeah, that's something to look forward to.
Ó, oh, já passou, ó. Oh. <laughs> right, so... Uh, we'll have to leave it there. It's time to go to work, so... We'll carry on tomorrow. So, thanks for watching, guys. As you can see, it just makes the uh, garden a lot brighter and uh, potentially stop any weeds coming through. So I've got one bag left, so I've got plenty to uh, completely finish it. So I'll leave that till tomorrow. So cracking on.